Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, AccuPlacer Review, Quantitative Reasoning, Algebra, and Statistics, Problem 17. This is Problem 17. It says the elevation at Summit A is 4,418 meters above sea level. Climbers begin at Summit B that has an elevation of 2,550 meters above sea level. What is the change in elevation to the nearest foot between the two summits? And it gives you a little hint that one foot is equal to 0.3048 meters. And there are four choices to choose from. Option A, 569 feet. Option B, 5,604 feet. Option C, 6,129 feet. And option D, 14,495 feet. So basically, you're starting from a height of 2550 above sea level, and you're going to climb higher to 4418 above sea level. So first of all, how many more meters does it take to get from 2550 to 4418? To find that answer, you can subtract the two numbers. So we can go 4418 minus 2550, and do that subtraction. And it comes out to 1,868. That's how much you have to climb from one from summit B to get to summit A. So if you start at 2550, you climb another 1,868, and you'll get to the higher elevation of 4,418. So now if I look, my answer of 1,868 is not any of the options. Well, the reason is it's in the wrong units. My answer is in meters because they gave the elevation of the two summits in meters, so my answer is in meters. Now, the options to choose from are in feet, so 1,868 meters is equivalent to one of these numbers of feet, so we can do the conversion, and to do that conversion, now we're going to go back to the hint. One foot is equal to 0 0.3048 meters. So now, what I'm going to do is take my answer of 1868, and I'm going to change the units. It's in meters now, put M for meters, and I'm going to multiply it basically times a funny looking 1. When you multiply something times 1, it doesn't change. So the funny 1 that I'm going to multiply it by is either 1 foot over 0 0.3048 meters or 0 0.3048 meters over 1 foot. They're equal, so the same amount over itself would reduce to one. But the question is, which one do you put on top? Do you put the one foot on top, or do you put the 0 .3048 meters on top? Well, you want the meters to cancel. My answer is in meters, so I want meters to be in the denominator so it'll cancel. So I'm going to have 0 0.3048 amphimeters, and the equivalent amount is one foot. Now when I multiply, the units of meters will cancel, giving me feet. So across the top, 1868 times 1 says 1868, but I have a 0.3048 in the denominator. So what I have to do, I have 1868 over 0 0.3048, and that answer is going to be how many feet? Now, unless you're really a whiz with fractions, you're going to want to use a calculator for this. That's, that's not a simple, straightforward thing to reduce. So if you do have access to a calculator, put the numerator in your calculator first, 1868. Put divide by, because fractions represent a division. And then put the denominator. And press equals. Again, keeping in mind that your answer is going to be in feet. And it comes out to 6128. Point six something 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 is six zero eight nine. Um, basically, I just want one more place after the decimal. And my answer says to the nearest foot. What's the change in elevation to the nearest foot? So that six one two eight point six. The six is big enough to make it six one two nine. That's the same or approximately the same as the one eight six eight meters, but this is in feet. Six one two nine feet. Six thousand one hundred and twenty nine feet. Now, as I go back to my list of options, it is one of the available options. It's option C, 6,129. So the answer for problem 17 is option C.